Hello, I'm Junya Makino, a Japanese violin player. I've been actively playing modern music and contemporary music in Europe and Japan. I would like to share you the history of the 20th century music. This is going to be a series, and today I focus on the decade from 1950 to 1960. In the 10 years from 1950, various new music and composition techniques came out. And the content became more, so I divided it into two parts. The first half is total serialism, centered on Pierre b u r e s and Karl Heinz Stockhausen, music of John Cage's oratoric music, and music stochastic of Yanis Xenakis. In the second half, we will see music concrete, electronic music. Soviet and Japanese music situation. So let's take a concrete look at the 10 years from 1950. From 1950 to 1960, such an event s occurred in the world. The 1950s is positioned as an era in which the so called Cold War structure. The confrontational structure between the capitalist and liberal camps headed by the United States and the communist and socialist camps headed by the Soviet Union in the Eastern countries was fixed. In Western countries, led by West Germany, the economy recovered it rapidly, so consumer life similar to that of the 20s began and suburban housing developed. In the suburbs of the city. In addition, due to the tension of the East West bloc after the Korean War, there were many conflicts in which each country tried to gain a military advantage over other countries, such as the arms race, including nuclear development, the space race, and the suppression of the Communist Party in the West. It was an era when we showed each other the power of the country. Under such circumstances in the field of music, new styles of music appeared and developed remarkably all over the world. First, let's see European music. The Darmstadt summer course, which began in 1946, continued to grow. This class is mentioned. In the previous episode, so please refer to it. There, from the 12 tone technique to the serial music read by Messian, and from that music, total serial music was born. This is a music completed by Messian student b u r e s and Stockhausen. b u r e s completed Structure 1 in 1952. And Stockhausen completed Kreuzspiel in 1952 also, which is said to be the beginning of full scale total serialism. It is difficult for the performer to decide all the musical elements in this way, and sometimes it is not possible to play. Therefore, the total serialismist saw something that could reproduce the musical score more. Accurately than letting living human beings perform. The most representative work of this is electronic music. I would like to introduce electronic music later. Returning to the story, the birth of this perfectionist music from a methodical point of view is that the individual sounds are determined by mathematical operations. So, c o m p o s e r could avoid the danger of writing music that they had heard somewhere, unknowingly replying on familiar writing style. b u r e s and Stockhausen became teachers in the workshop and enthusiastically taught students how to compose this total serialism. Backed by European style rationalism and the urge to make music that no one has heard yet. Total serialism attracted many musicians in the mid 1950s and became the dominant composition technique. However, there were many problems, and one of them was that 
is the information processing ability that humans can hear is limited. In fact, the performance of early pieces with total serialism was quite error prone, and the ears of the audience listening to it were not familiar, so the problem became more serious. Another weak point is every piece sounds like the same. Many composers soon realized this, and there was a debate about post-serialism, like what's the next music for total serialism? The issue has accelerated. In 1958, Stockhausen recommended John Cage to the instructor's post, which Burress refused due to a lot of work. John Cage, who came from the United States, introduced the concept of music of indeterminacy and aleatoric music here. And many participants were shocked with this as a boundary. The dead rock total serialism has already come to the end. However, serialism in a broad sense was inherited by Brian Farnihal and others in the 1970s. What kind of music was the music of indeterminacy and aleatoric music that Cage brought to Europe in 1958. Probably the most famous work representing this music is 4 minutes 33 seconds, released in 1952. This work is silence music that overturns the common sense that music makes sounds. It consists of sad movements and all movements indicate a touch it that represents a pause throughout the movement. It is a piece in which the performer appears on the stage, spends the time with instrument without doing anything. Other than showing the division of the movement and then leaves after a certain period of time. The choice of instrument to use and the time required for each movement are left to the discretion of the performer and can be performed in an ensemble. 4 minutes 33 seconds was the total playing time at the time of the premiere. The sound of the venue, the noise of the audience, and the sound of breathing are just one time an intentional and uncertain music that no one can make. The piece is the most extreme example of music of indeterminacy and aleatoric music, but for aleatoric music, especially John Cage's work, basically the Zen of the Buddhist scholar Daisetsu Suzuki, who split Zen to the world. Due to the influence of the oriental thought of there is an attitude of releasing the sound as the sound itself, and accepting the result as it is. Let's look more concretely from here. Aleatoric music means that the sound is determined by the element of chance at the stage of making a piece, and it becomes music. For example, the first roll that dies is she, second roll is D and so on. So when people asked why did it become such a melody and music, the only answer is that the dice roll accidentally appears like that and it cannot be explained more. Music of indeterminacy, on the other hand, is music in which the sound and rhythm of the completed piece are not fixed in the first place. The sounds that come out will be different depending on the performer and the interpretation of the score. Now, let's compare the musical scores of music of indeterminacy and aleatoric music. First of all, aleatoric music is the music of chance, composed by John Cage in 1951. Music of indeterminacy, on the other hand, comes from like the score of variation 2. This is also a piece composed by Cage released just 10 years after the music of chance. Aleatoric music has a fixed sound. 
music of indeterminacy is like a graphic notation and the sound and rhythm cannot be understood until you become the performer at that time. The above is the broadly summarized electric music pursued by Cage, but the Greek composer Yanis Xenakis was inspired by a different way of thinking about contingency and was composed music stochastic in 1955. He released a piece called Metastasis. The starting point for Yanis Xenakis' Metastasis was the idea of a dense mass of sound. The sensation of various insects, bars, and the sound of the wind rushing into him in the woods at the camp that he experienced as a child. The intense noise of demonstrations and battles in the city of essence. Snarkis wanted to express them by using a computer program or a mathematical table rather than just randomly selecting sound with human senses and making them into chunks, numerical barriers that do not have regularity or periodicity and are repeated more frequently than others can be obtained. He revealed no number of gatherings he made it sound and composed metastasis. This is also called algorithmic composition. So the composition concept of Cage and Xenakis seem to be similar but distinctly different. I think it would be a good to separate Cage's work during this period from electric music and Xenakis' music from music stochastic. This is the end of the content, so let's summarize it. First of all, Darmstadt summer course became even more exciting and one of the Trepton Technique's total serialism was completed. However, there were many problems. In 1958, John Cage brought in electric music and total serialism was forced to the end. Cage combines electric music such as 4 minutes 33 seconds and music of indeterminacy to Europe. European musicians were totally shocked by them. Yanis Xenakis was inspired by a different way of thinking about contingency and used a computer to create works with stochastic and inferential composition. That's it for this time. So next time, in the second half of 1950 to 1960. I will talk about electronic music and so on. Thank you so much for watching this video and see you next time.